Hi guys, in this short video I'm taking a look at M4 Max Studios ProRes Quad export credentials. I have here a 4 minute long animated movie I made in Keynote that I want to export in ProRes Quad. Some major surprises here. Moving from an M1 Mac Mini 2020 vintage to the M4 Max initially seemed like a huge boost as the M4 Max was exporting ProRes Quad at over 20 times faster than my M1 Mini at 4 gigabytes per second, which is the max write speed of the internal drive. However, just 25 seconds later, the export speed collapsed to just under 300 megabytes per second, barely much better than my M1. As I will show when I do the same export to my Thunderbolt 3 external NVMe drive, this catastrophic performance is due to the very small SLC cache on the Apple inbuilt SSD, and actually worse than what I can get from a hard drive DAS in RAID. Imagine that, a super expensive NVMe slower than a hard drive. Now I'm going to repeat the same test, but export video instead to my Thunderbolt 3 external NVMe drive. This is a Western Digital Black SN850X 2TB model. The initial export speed is lower this time around, frontal by the Thunderbolt 3 interface bandwidth to about 2.8 GB per second. As you shall see, this drive 2 will eventually run out of SLC cache. However, it will remain 3 times faster than the Apple SSD at around 900 MB throughout the test. I should point out that this was a relatively cheap 150 euro drive about 2 years ago. That makes it over 4 times cheaper than what Apple charges for its SSD. The moral of the story, don't waste money on Apple's internal SSD, but get yourself a good performing external SSD. With Thunderbolt 5 it shouldn't be difficult at all to outperform the internal SSD and doubly so when it comes to exporting data heavy formats like the ProRes Quad. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.